All right, so you're watching this video because you've made a choice to start your branding, your website with ghost.org. I wish there would have been a ghost.org way back in the day when I first got started with WordPress back in 2009. I think if you're currently on WordPress, you definitely need to look at Ghost. They'll even migrate over for free all of your stuff that's on WordPress onto Ghost if you do the annual plan. But what I'm going to do in these series of videos is just walk through. I'm actually going to sign up for an account so you can actually see what I would recommend that you do in your first few steps to get started with ghost.org. So again, you've already decided on the three options. We've got three primary options that we believe in that helps us messengers build a business. You've got the easiest way is really ghost.org. Easier than that is medium, but it's not your own site. But you got ghost.org, then system.io is a cheaper alternative to Kajabi. And then the one that I love is kajabi.com. Of course, I like all of them, but kajabi.com powers my business. But ghost.org has powered uh, my other blogging your passion brand. So what we're going to do is we're going to jump into this and what you're going to do is you're going to click on here, get started for free. And we're going to choose one of these. Now, this is the one that I would recommend is right here, this edition version. And there's a specific reason why once we get into it, but this follows my methodology of having more of a story brand version for us and messengers. So you can see, you can preview it here. This is what we're going to go with. So we're going to start with the edition theme. And we got to give it a brand color. You can switch this later, so don't worry about it. Publication name, this stuff. But I'm going to just call this one, let's just call it the eBay business. It's a eBay education business. All right, you can choose the brand color now, or I'm going to show you later how you can do it from there. All right, it wants to know, are you a creator, are you a publisher, or are you a business? So for most of you that follow me, you're going to be in this creator arena. So we're going to click on that. It's going to ask for an email address. I'm going to give it one of my other kind of less used email addresses. And I'm just going to use the password that it's my software tells me to use. And there we go. Okay, so I am actually going to go ahead and sign up for this because I want you to know exactly what it looks like, but I'm going to pause it so that all of my credit card information isn't on the screen. So hold on one second. Okay, so I just put in my credit card details. Boom. This is where it throws you in. All right, so now we are in here and this is the first page that you see. Now what you have over here is just your basic very basic homepage. We're going to get in and customize this. I'm trying to keep each of these videos short, but we're going to get into each of these, how to write a post, how to customize your site. You don't really need the import members, and then we'll explore a little bit of the admin. So that is it. You've got a an account signed up. Now I want you to click on the next video, and we're going to jump more into this.